What's up guys, TechFlash here and I hope every one of you is great out there. Today we are going to talk about a device from Samsung that is going to surprise all of us. I am talking about the Galaxy A90 which was expected to be the first mid-range Samsung Galaxy phone with 5G connectivity. But it looks that Galaxy A90 might not be a mid-range phone after all. At least if you consider the silicon under the hood, it is going to come with Snapdragon 855 Yes, it is the same chipset you could find on the Samsung flagship Galaxy S10. Now this is a very surprising news because we were expecting Galaxy A series to have a mid-range chipset but this time around they are going to directly compete with the flagships of Samsung. Now this is not very surprising because there are already leaks and rumors about Samsung Galaxy Note getting a much better chipset this time around and Samsung is expected to refresh chipsets for the second time in a single year which is a great thing because most of the time Samsung is refreshing the chipsets once a year so with Galaxy S series and Galaxy Note series you usually get same chipsets but this time around we are going to see a new chipset with Galaxy Note series which essentially means that Snapdragon 855 will not be the fastest chip out there. Now Snapdragon 855 will apparently power both the LTE and the 5G variants for Galaxy A90 and this phone is also supposedly coming with exclusive tilt OIS tech. Now if my guess is correct then this technology might use the motor which is uh, helping the camera come from the rear end of the phone to the front side and use it as an optical image stabilization technique but I don't know what it actually means so I'm just going to uh, put it out there that I think so that it is going to use the rotating motor now the interesting part is that Samsung Galaxy A series usually do not have any kind of optical image stabilization but this time around they are including optical image stabilization and they are including a technology which we haven't seen before at least on a Samsung device. Now Galaxy A90 is supposedly coming with a triple camera set with a 48 megapixel primary sensor flagged by a 12 megapixel and 5 megapixel sensors and this camera is actually a rotating camera which essentially means that you are going to use the triple camera both for your front selfies and for your rear camera camera needs. Now we don't know for sure that whether a time of flight sensor is included just like Galaxy A80 or this time around Samsung is going to skip that because uh, we don't know for sure but this camera if included can provide some great facial recognition tech which is much more secure than the ones used with uh, Samsung Galaxy S10. Looking at other specifications, Galaxy A90 is said to be equipped with a 6.7 inches display and this display will have an in-display fingerprint sensor because this is going to be an AMOLED display. Now we don't know whether the sensor will be an ultrasonic one just like Galaxy S10 or whether this be an optical one just like we saw with Samsung mid-range devices. Now personally I am very excited about the prospects of a phone which is going to be in the mid-range segment but will come with a flagship chipset. However, Similar leaks were given out last year with Snapdragon 845 but the best chipset we saw with Samsung Galaxy A series was a mid-range chipset called the Snapdragon 730 so I want you to take this uh, news with a pinch of salt but I want you to be excited because this is a very good news. Also I wanted to include here that Samsung is using Snapdragon 855 chipset which is actually a tad bit better than the Exynos 9820 used in some regions for Galaxy S10s which essentially means that this device may conquer some Galaxy S10s with its speed. Now we all know that 5G is going to provide us insane amount of internet speeds but to utilize that speed correctly you need insane amounts of internal storage and insane amount of processing power to actually utilize that fast internet connection and that is the reason why all the 5G devices which we are seeing right now come with a better chipset and also with ample amounts of RAM because they want to compete in the 5G segment. Now personally I am very excited about this device and I want Samsung to release this device as soon as possible because this device is surely going to take the whole market by storm. Now I want your opinions about this device and I want your opinions about the recent changes Samsung made with their A-series 
Uh, we saw that Samsung was not competing in the mid-range segment, but recently with the launch of their A-series, the devices like A50 and A70, they are coming back to the competitive market, which is a very good sign. And I want you to tell me what do you feel about it. Also, if you are new to the channel, you can subscribe because I try to upload daily content for you out there. And if you are in the Tech Clash gang, I support you. You should support me. Like this video, comment on this video, and I will see you in the next one.